Welcome to Drop the F. If you've never been here before, then you. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't really give a shit. Which is the theme of this series. This is Drop the F because I don't give a f Today on Drop the F, public bathrooms. Some people use them and know exactly what I'm about to get into. Some people refuse to use them because of the things I'm about to get into. First thing. I don't know how it is in the women's bathroom, but in the men's bathroom, nine times out of 10, there's piss everywhere. Who the f pisses on the floor? We have penises, which means it's pretty easy to aim where you're trying to pee, which only brings me to the logical explanation that people are actually trying to piss all over the place. I'm gonna be squeaking around all day just because I walked around on a piss covered public bathroom floor. Let's face it, the bottom of my shoes are infinitely cleaner than the floor of a public bathroom. Going to wash my hands, I do my business, I get all clean, I'm good, and then I realize that on my shirt, I have a line of wet right where my stomach is. The entire countertop where the sink is, is flooded. Every time I walk out and go into public, people are looking at my gut because I have a horizontal line of wet. You know those sinks that have separate faucets for hot and cold? What is the logic behind having two separate faucets of two different temperatures of water? Am I supposed to like turn them both on and then couple my hands in the middle, make a bowl, and then take my hand? What's worse than those are the sinks that you have to actually hold the faucet. Wash one hand, let go, no water. Rub the soap, take your hand, put it on, wash the hand. Who thought it was a bright idea to keep the faucet on with one hand then have it bounce back and turn off? How the hell am I supposed to wash my hands properly? Ah, the pink soap. The infamous pink soap. The smell is... Roses? Why the f are you still using the pink soap? What's worse than that is there's a regular dispenser right next to it that's clearly broken, which is by the way outfitted for one of those bags that pumps out foam. If you know the name of that pink soap that I'm referring to, please leave a comment in the section so that I can be educated. I'm trying to get educated here too, people. This is what pisses me off more than anything about all public bathrooms. Let's say you go to the bathroom. Let's say you go wash your hands and you put your hand under those hands-free soap dispensers. Then you carefully hover your hands over the faucet and the water comes out hands-free. Amazing! Then you walk on over to the hand drying section and there's one of two options. There's the hand dryers which you hover your hands in front of and it automatically starts. Or there's the paper dispenser in which you put your hands over the sensor and a piece of paper comes up. All this is great for germaphobes, which I'm not by the way, and people who just generally want to be clean and not have bacteria on their hands every chance they get. Why the f is there a door with a handle on the bathroom? Everything I just did was hands-free. Now I gotta take my freshly cleaned hand and touch the bacteria-filled doorknob, which basically null and voids everything that I just did. I end up taking my shirt like this and twisting the doorknob. That's been Drop the F. I hope you enjoyed this episode talking about public bathrooms. Leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what pisses you off. Maybe it pisses me off too, and we can talk about it next time.